Hi again. This is Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More. Um, you may not have heard of this, or maybe you have. It's a test that's for diagnosing different things like muscle diseases called an EMG test, often ordered by a neurologist. And it's very uncomfortable. I have to tell you, if your if doctor ordered you to have this done, beware, it can cause problems after the exam. Even a day or two later, you may require pain medication. They don't tell you this. They tell you it's safe because the needles are sterilized and it's done by a doctor that's trained to do this EMG testing. But there's one place that I won't mention the name of that I've heard complaints by more than one person that's had this EMG electromyography exam. And today I had to run to ER to take somebody who could not walk without assistance because the pain had gotten so bad from the test. The test actually inflamed the pain, the radiculopathy pain, which means pain that goes down the leg or both legs. It had actually made it more intense. And it was just horrifying to see this person staggering like she did and um, had to go to ER because what is she going to do with no pain medication and she's just on her back. She was helpless. The electromyography test is a study of the nerves and the muscle functioning. It, it does determine if there's any nerve damage or any muscle injury. Uh, it also determines the location of where the, and how much damage may be done. They place electrode pads over the skin and that's how they do the conduction tests for the motor neurons. A neuron is a nerve. And then they also have a, a needle electrode that goes into the muscle. That's pretty deep. So that's part of the exam, and they use electricity with the needle. Doesn't sound too much, like too much fun. I've had it done once. Uh, the whole treatment, uh, diagnostic treatment, takes about 30 to 60 minutes. And it takes about three to five days to get the results. Um, it evaluates the nerves, the uh, different things like it can evaluate carpal tunnel, uh, radiculopathy, or sciatica. It can, it can also diagnose neuropathies if you have that, and muscle diseases like myasthenia gravis or muscular dystrophy. But I'm just letting you know it isn't for everybody you might have a, a reaction to the test itself and you may be aware that you need you may need pain medication to recover from it because I think that the, diagno the diagnostic exam can be worse than the actual symptoms themselves for some people. This is Nicole Lee. I used to work as a physical therapy assistant. I heard a lot of horror stories. Anyway, take care. Nicole Lee Health Beauty and more. And please subscribe. I appreciate it. And any comments are welcome. Bye-bye.